Hey, I'm Kez Bracey. This is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma Frame Tips. We're going to give you some great tips that are going to help you when you're working with frames in Figma. If you have a whole bunch of objects that are already existing on your canvas and you grab the frame tool, which is this one here, and you draw a frame around those objects, it will automatically nest those children underneath the frame that you draw around them. There's no need to manually drag and drop anything into that new frame. It all just happens without you needing to lift a finger. When you have drawn a frame that has a series of objects nested inside it, you can hit this little button here, resize to fit, and it will take care of automatically sizing that frame down so it fits those child elements perfectly. By default, if you resize a frame, it's not going to affect the content. The content is just going to stay exactly as it is. So if you want to resize all of the content inside a frame uniformly, you need to grab the scale tool, which you can get to either by coming up here and choosing scale or hitting the shortcut key K. And then when you resize the frame, everything in the frame will scale proportionally along with it. You can use constraints to control how a child element will respond when a parent frame is resized. For example, by default, when I resize this frame, these objects will stay where they are, and that's because they're positioned or constrained relative to the top left corner of the frame. But if I select a child and I go into this constraint section over here, I can change it so it's now constrained by the right and bottom positions. And if I resize the frame, now the child is going to move relative to the bottom right corner instead. You can select multiple constraints at once. By default, when you click a constraint on one side, it'll deactivate the one on the opposite side. But if you hold down shift, then you can have both sides of the constraint setting active at once. So then when you resize the parent frame, the child is going to respond based on what's happening on all sides of that frame. So that's some quick tips to help you when you're working with frames in Figma. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.